Did you see that? Like, did you see that? There's no question that American track superstar Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone is definitely a track queen. Running so far ahead of her competitors would have been basically impossible for others. But it's nothing for Sydney, as you saw. What she just did was absolutely mind blowing. No one would contest that fact, for sure. But, as they say, a picture paints a thousand words, so see for yourself. Imagine how fast she'd been going that none of her competitors, world class hurdlers themselves, weren't even in the frame when Sydney crossed the line. Arguably, the women's 400-meter hurdle final was one of the most anticipated events in this year's games. And they delivered, at least Sydney did. Not only did she meet expectations, but she also surpassed them. From start to finish, the American dominated the track in her specialty event. Although that is to be expected, it was also thought that she would be facing intense challenge from her strongest on-track rival, Femke Bol. As a matter of fact, both of them steadily and comfortably made their way to the final. To put it mildly, both of them were in their element as they purposely jumped over the hurdles to win their respective heats and semifinals. For her part, Sydney breezed through heat five with a 53.60 to make the semis. The Olympic champion and world record holder clipped her sixth hurdle. Something you don't often see from the track star, but nothing stopped her from winning her heat with a comfortable distance ahead of all her competitors. Meanwhile, Bowl, the current world champion after winning in Budapest last year in Sydney's absence, ran heat three in 53.38. Notably, she had the fastest time in all heats. That's a great start, isn't it? The American looked confident as ever as she breezed to a win in 52.13 seconds at the Stade de France, finishing around 15 meters clear of France's Louise Maravel in second. This time, with 52.13, Sydney had the fastest time out of everyone who qualified for the final. To be fair, Bowl 2 was dominant in her semi-final crossing the finish line in 52.57 seconds. And so they were up for the final, which is what everyone has been looking forward to. It did not even come as a surprise when it was Sydney who crossed the line first and was well ahead of her competitors at that. The American, who celebrated her 25th birthday at the City of Love, ran a blisteringly fast race to win the Olympic Games Paris 2024 women's 400 meter hurdles gold medal in a new world record time of 50.37 seconds. It marked the fifth time the American had lowered her own world record, and she became the first woman to go back to back at the Olympics in the event since it made its debut at Los Angeles 1984. So technically, it was her sixth time breaking the world record. Five of those were hers. If you look at this, the track superstar has been breaking her world record in the event since 2020. What's more? And the gold medalist in a world record time of 50.37, her sixth world record. She's the only two-time winner of this event, and this was the hundredth medal in the Olympics for the United States when Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni crossed the line. Grateful to God for this opportunity. Grateful to be celebrating my 25th birthday like this she said after her victory. Having made her Olympic debut in Rio 2016 at 17 and winning gold in front of an empty stadium at Tokyo 2020, she said once again winning the Olympic gold in her specialty event was like being on a whole new stage. I think this was my first real Olympics, she said, and I'm grateful for that in its fullness. Just said it. it's special to know that your, your people are here. Um, and to just have those moments that you can look back on when you're done running, you know, and to have those pictures with family and friends, whatever the outcome is. And so um, I think this was one, one of those things I was missing. The American blasted out of the blocks, chasing down her biggest rival, the Netherlands Femke Bull, in the lane outside of her before building a sizable lead with over 100 meters to go. As McLaughlin Lavrone raced down the finishing straight, with the roars of the Stade de France crowd behind her. The thousands in the stands knew they were witnessing something special. The US superstar was alone, her competitors far behind her. And for the seconds it took before she crossed the finish line, you got the impression she was chasing history as much as another Olympic title. 
It's amazing to see our sport continue to grow, for people to want to watch the 400-meter hurdles," continued McLaughlin Lebrone. Just a lot of hard work put in this year. I knew it was going to be a tough race, an amazing competition all the way around. Her biggest rival, surprisingly, had to settle with bronze. Coming into the final bend of the women's 400-meter hurdles final, Femke Bull was exactly where she wanted to be. She was right behind Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone, just like her coach, Laurent Muley, had planned. The goal for Femke will be to stay as close as possible into the straight, Muley said, and here she was, two tenths off. The problem was, it was the last time Bull was in the right place all night. As McLaughlin Lavrone ran stronger, harder, and faster down the straight, she pulled right away from Bull and everyone else. Bull finished third after she was beaten to the silver by Sydney's US teammate Anna Cockrell, who ran a personal best of 50, 1.87 seconds. Bull finished in 52.15 seconds, which, though well down on the winning time, was still the 19th the quickest in history. She was utterly distraught afterward and walked away crying from the finish line. Even in an interview a few short moments later, the Dutch athlete was visibly emotional. Are you happy? No. No. No, it's not at all what I wanted. Um, I still took bronze, so this is something special for me, and I could defend this, but I wanted my best race, and if it was my best race was bronze, I would have been happy, but it just was a really, really bad race. Even this picture is a little heartbreaking, to be honest. What's truly remarkable, though, is the way she showed up at the press conference with the right attitude. She basically pulled herself together, and that, more than anything, is noteworthy. We like, or I like to sometimes think in a bit limits, and I think I really learned not to do this and see how much is possible. And once again today she proved, on the moment it counts the most at the Olympic final, that she can perform so well and that we're getting closer to 49, so it's really amazing to be part of this. Her graciousness after losing endeared her to fans. Just to clarify, a bronze is, in a way, a loss, since she was targeting gold. In another place in time, she would be the greatest herself. She has it in her, there's no question about that. In fact, she proved it when she won the Netherlands the gold medal in the 4 by 400 meter mixed relay, with an astonishing anchor leg, which swept the team from 4th place all the way up into 1st. While Bull was understandably upset with how things went, the event's silver medalist Anna Cockrell couldn't be happier after winning her first Olympic medal. It was a memorable win, too, especially after her first Olympics ended with heartbreak. For context, Cockrell was disqualified for a lane violation in Tokyo. For Sydney, it seems like her only real competition is herself. Without question, Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone has come a long way since her Olympic debut at the Rio Games as the youngest US track athlete in more than four decades. She's since admitted that she deliberately tanked her 400 meter hurdles semi-final at the Estadio Olimpico Nilton Santos that year, due to crippling anxiety and fear of failure. From then to now, she definitely has come a long way, and she isn't done. One of the most enigmatic stars in any sport, McLaughlin Lavrone, has consistently teased the world with her broader potential. She has raced in five different disciplines in five events this year. The 100-meter and 400-meter hurdles, the 200-meter and 400-meter flat, and the 4 by 100-meter relay, posting world-class times across the board. For Paris, though, she narrowed her focus to her defense of the 400-meter hurdles gold, the event she calls her first love, and defend it she did. Suffice it to say that her recent victory extended her remarkable five-year unbeaten streak in the discipline and cemented her status as the greatest women's 400-meter hurdler of all time. So, while there is an air of expectation every time McLaughlin Lavrone runs, she can always be expected to deliver. That's just how brilliant of an athlete she is. Watch this to see what else happened in Paris.